Hello, my name is Greg Bem, and I'm one of the Spokane Community College librarians. In this short video, I'm going to be demonstrating Ho, which is an interesting and unique interface that brings together multiple Gen AI tools into one place. Let's start with the very top. I am in the web browser looking at Po. I am signed in, which one must be to use Po. And I'm being encouraged to try the Pro Desktop app. I am not going to show you the desktop app today, but it is very similar with its interface and does allow you to have Po open in another space for your convenience. I'm going to X out of this. The upper left is the Po icon. You can collapse and open the sidebar. You can explore by clicking on the magnifying glass. You can create a bot, which is essentially a customized chat based on a specific uh, Gen AI model you want to use. Your bots or chats will be listed below. You can subscribe. You can browse different creators, similar to the GPTs in ChatGPT. You can go into your profile, your settings, you can send feedback, and then there are multiple ways you can get this on your mobile device. So the main screen of Poe is as such. You will have the various Gen AI tools or languages, language models listed here. You can start your prompt by entering it in here. You can attach various files to the prompt. There are previews of different web applications which you can bring into your chats. Then similar to various marketplaces and app stores, you have official bots, popular bots, featured bots, new bots, image generation bots, programming, funny, hobby, advice, learning, professional, text analysis, creative writing, game, AI, translation, mind, utility, and role play bots. So there are, is quite a lot in Poe and it is fairly overwhelming, but let's start with just using the basic Poe assistant. And we'll see what happens when we use this. Tell me a story about a poem. Now it has created a short story about a poem. Note that uh, this prompt response is in te plain text. Underneath, you can share the response, you can have it be regenerated, and you can like and dislike. Then there are several ways to semi-automatically expand on the conversation. And it's actually also offering to bring this prompt into responses via other language models. So if you wanted to try Claude and see what Claude does, you could have Claude generate an answer for you, which I will do. And now it has created this. And of course, you can go back and continue expanding or having other models respond to the prompt. Let's go back to the main screen. And let's try having it create with stable diffusion. Stable Diffusion is one of a variety of models that's available to use for free. Note that if you are not subscribing to the pro models of some of these um, mo models, you won't be able to use them. And that is why Poe offers a subscription. It essentially gives you access to the pro models of many of these other um, Gen AI tools. So create a picture that represents a story about a poem. We'll see what it does. And Stable Diffusion XL is very fast. 
And here we are. We have a multi-panel comic-like narrative with some interesting language that may or may not be real and a variety of artistic styles. And then there are interesting opportunities to create a picture that represents a story, resend it, remix it so you can edit the prompt and go from there. You can also compare with other versions of image generating AI tools. That is a basic overview of Poe. Certainly not the entire iceberg of this immense interface and tool that brings together many other tools. If you like Poe but have questions, reach out to the Spokane Community College Librarians. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.